This is Segway 9 Bot's Kick Scooter Max. It is a scooter with 40.4 mile range that raised more than $4 million on Indiegogo. It costs $800 or less if you can catch an early bird deal and I've been enjoying it for the last two weeks. You know, a lot of shared scooters, do you, do you even know what you're picking up? Do you know who put their hands on it before you? You don't know. Well, with your own scooter, you don't have that problem. The thing that stands out about this scooter compared to the others is not its looks, obviously. It's not its top speed, obviously, but it's 40.4 miles range, which is 65 kilometers. Now that range is based on a ride with a speed of 9.3 miles per hour with a payload of 165.3 pounds and I'm guessing other conditions were perfect too unlike this this is how they calculate the maximum range it's nothing new everyone does that and that's why I came up with a plan instead of just reviewing this like any other product what if we go on a ride from here Chateau Marmot to Santa Monica which is a 10.3 miles ride and it is mostly downhill so it must be pretty simple to go there and when it's time to come back, I'm guessing that's when the range anxiety will kick in. Which it shouldn't because I just need a outlet and I have the cable with me. Kick Scooter Max has the brake on the left and the gas on the right. They don't want you to let your hands go because they know there are a lot of idiots out there. That's why I had to come up with my own mount so I can film as we go and since the ride is gonna take about one hour a little more than one hour over there and then probably even longer way back i should be fine without exhausting batteries so let's go have some fun so now you may be wondering a lot of people with the shared scooters they don't have helmets how is that possible well the law says if you're over 18 you don't need a <laughs> helmet so there's that let's put the helmet on i look cooler than everyone right now yeah don't be jealous you guys remaining mileage 31 miles we must we must be good Feels good. Before you attempt such thing, I advise you to practice a little bit. Don't go on in the middle of the road immediately and start riding this thing. It's definitely a lot more easier than, uh, than a skateboard. Right now we're going 15 miles per hour, which I think it's limited to. And here we go, a red light. Everyone thinks I'm super cool. I got used to that. I mean, normally I'm cool. But with this helmet, the cameras and this amazing scooter, they cannot take their eyes off of me. It's a, it's a fact. You just get used to it though. You learn to live like that. Acceleration, not crazy, but good. I watched the video that said these were actually initially designed to be shared scooters. That's why they have the long range. Kind of makes sense because all the screws on this device are different. So if you want to do something, if you want to change something, I don't think you can change it easy. You need a lot of different tools. Now going downhill, we hit 60 miles. Front wheel has a mechanical drum brake and the rear wheel has the electronic brake, which regenerates power while you're braking. And they feel fine. They don't feel good or bad necessarily. This is a good downhill. We can test it at Doheny Drive says 20 miles am I going 20 miles no that's not me it's probably the car of course one problem I'm having with this is since I don't want to let my hands go because the handles too tight I think they need it to be a little wider um, I'm having hard time signaling 
I don't know how to show people where I'm turning. Uh, that's one problem, but I have a bell. Let's test the brakes. 15 miles an hour. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna throw you off. Ah, what a beautiful day. Let's see that California roll. There it is. <laughs> The body is aluminum alloy, the foot area is wide and comfortable. It has IPX5 water resistance, which means you must be good riding through puddles and sprinkles. It is foldable, but it weighs 41.2 pounds, which is 18.7 kilograms. It doesn't have a suspension, but the 10 inch tubeless tires are smooth and they are self healing, meaning if it gets punctured, the special sealant in the tire will fill the hole up 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 to six millimeter diameter it takes six hours to charge when it is fully drained but it makes a sound while it's charging let's race the ferrari if i can catch up and pass scooter is better than a ferrari that's how scientific videos are lately. Especially the blind testing is getting out of hand. They're basically doing stuff like, I'm gonna drive you 20 miles per hour in a Bugatti and a $50 car. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Ah, see, the Ferrari is faster. Come on. Thank you. See, you count as something, you matter. This is the dashboard, it's pretty easy to understand. You have your mile, you have your mode here, you have your Bluetooth connection and the battery indicator, which I think they're all in 20% increments. And I guess we're doing good. Let's check the app. It says we have 27.9 miles range, which is fantastic. We can change the mode here. You can set it to pedestrian mode. You have your energy recovery level, how much you want energy to recover. Uh, let's set this to medium. And next we have fan moments. We have discover and then me. Let's go into settings. You can lock your scooter if you need to go and take a leak or something. You can hit this and locks the scooter and when someone tries to move it it makes that sound ah beautiful bicycle road beautiful and green it has one wheel speed system and that's the rear wheel which makes it easier to go uphill so the the wheel will not spin because the weight is going to be on it. The speed is ranging between 15 to 18 miles but I think because the speed limit in LA is 15 uh, they limited to that before giving this to me. You can climb 15 degree uphill this car is gonna turn right right? Nah. Get off the bicycle lane bruh! 15 mile top speed the fact that it stops at 15 I don't like that Dude, get out of the lane. Sometimes you just need to speed up. You don't necessarily need to go 18, 20 miles per hour, but there are some situations where you need to speed up. That's what's needed to save yourself from a dangerous situation. But no, this just stops at 15. Oh, new asphalt. Mmm, creamy. It really doesn't feel like we're going 15 miles per hour. That's how you get used to it. And I really feel like this is when it gets dangerous if you're new because you don't know what's gonna happen if you need to do a maneuver or something look there's a mall i can go there but what am i gonna do with the scooter oh yeah i like the fact that i turned up the regeneration power regenerate a little bit up because it breaks by itself i like that feeling how you guys doing having a nice day don't trust anyone I gotta say, it's looking pretty good. We're almost at 405, and we're not even halfway with the battery. And I am right now with my backpack and everything, I weigh 
186 pounds. See that? The cool factor. Yeah, this one doesn't have the cool factor. When you're riding a motorcycle, when you're riding a Harley, you can hear certain songs in your head. You can have certain songs as your <laughs> soundtrack. With this, you kind of get the Richard Cheese cover of those songs, like Born to be Mild. I was having leaving my camera in the middle of the road and hoping no one drives over it while I get these shots, it was time to continue my trip and finish the remaining 8.2 miles towards Santa Monica. The entire trip was a lot of fun, but because I didn't think about it in advance, I unlocked the Farmer's 10 achievement by the time I got there. Yes! Yes! We made it! We're here! Now let's find a place for the beauty shots. And by beauty shots, I mean a selfie. We made it all the way here. From there, it says it's a one hour and seven minute drive right now. And with scooter, we left at two. It was a little past two. And we're here at 316. And we still have 20, 40, 60. Probably 70% battery remaining. It's incredible. It says we rode for 7.1 mile. I think this is because I turned it off and on at one point. Average speed 13.4 miles. And it says remaining mileage is 21.1. So we're doing really good. There it is. There's the law. That's nice, thank you. Smells delicious. Okay, let's get the beauty shots, change the batteries, and then head back. After spending a couple of hours on the beach, I was done with the beauty shots and it was time to head back to the chateau. I installed my camera mount back on the Kick Scooter Max and the first thing ahead of me was a hill. Right now it's 5 p.m. and I see a nice steep hill. Maybe we should give it a try. Oh, we're going. We're going like it's no one, nobody's business. I'm gonna stop and then let the fire truck go. We have the kickstand open, but we're going. Holy, yep. We made it easily. Now the way back is a little more uphill. Yeah. Born to be mild, let's go. 
Do I have range anxiety? Absolutely not. <laughs> of course, the thing is, this entire trip is one trip, right? I went there, I got the beauty shots, now we're going back. What I didn't do is I never left this scooter alone. Well, mainly because right now I'm reviewing it. So if it gets taken or stolen, my review has to end right there. And I uh, have to come up with a clickbait title. But uh, I didn't even go to a restroom. I didn't eat. I didn't drink. I didn't do anything. I didn't want to leave this alone. I didn't feel comfortable. I don't have a lock as well. That's why I feel like these things, drones, electric skateboards, some kind of password, like the password we have on our phones. We need a password. I don't want... If someone just grabs my drone and flies it and crashes into something, it has my ID on it. I think we're down to 60% battery now. By the way, it took me two days to come up with this mount. I wanted an angle like this from the front and I wanted to be able to talk the entire ride whenever I feel like it. It's getting ridiculously easy. I'm still trying to stay as alert as I can, but it is it is very easy. That's why you gotta be super careful about who's gonna open the door and win the lottery of a scooter coming into their car. I wonder if I can get this wrapped to a you know nice color get some decorations on the handle some confetti you know spice it up a little bit this is too dull i don't know if you noticed that we didn't get honked even once i think that's the that's the beauty of this micro mobility stuff i think it's gonna become a thing lane bike there it is i like this starbucks a lot let's go get coffee after at least 17.4 miles, not including leaving the main route and going left and right here and there, the remaining battery is extremely impressive. 53% battery is remaining. <laughs> it's really good. And as you can imagine, I was back at Chateau Marmo where I started my little trip in no time and with a lot of battery remaining. We have 38% battery remaining. It says it can go 11.2 miles more. Maybe we should milk it a little bit more then. So I decided to go to Hollywood Boulevard and laugh at people stuck in traffic. I just don't want people to be, I just don't want future to be good. A bug hit my helmet and I heard it. I heard the sound. Just like that, we're here. The traffic doesn't bother us at all it's a touristy area they may be tired distracted they can be on drugs well this is it hollywood and highland we're just breezing through it and now we're coming close to my music school there it is on the right Musicians Institute. There. Coming towards the end of my trip, I felt nothing but joy. Yes, it may lack the cool factor, but at the end of the day, literally, I had a great time, and that's what matters. The ride is comfortable, the build quality is great, this thing is built to scoot, and scooting is what it does. It will absolutely make me leave my car at home more. I just have to remember to put on sunscreen and buy a lock. I traveled a total of 26 miles with 186 pounds of payload going uphill, downhill, and yet I didn't have a single moment of range anxiety. And I think that alone makes this a great scooter for everyone. We have 17% battery remaining and it can go 5.3 miles more. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please 
hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the... Let's turn the lights on. Play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about these scooters. Would you want one or are you fine with just sharing one? And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and I'll check out